Okay, hello cloud gurus, how y'all doing? Welcome to the very first episode of Deep Racer, the fast and the curious. I'm Scott Pletcher, I'm an instructor here at A Cloud Guru, and I'm quite skilled at messing things up. This series is going to be about our picture perfect journey into Deep Racer glory. I mean, we're cloud professionals and we should know what we're doing, right? Wrong, it was a hot mess. This series is going to be a behind the scenes, no holds barred look at A Cloud Guru's journey through the 2019 Deep Racer season. We're gonna share with you all the highlights and lowlights of how we got started, our struggles, our frustrations, our misadventures, as we compete in several Deep Racer events throughout the season. So buckle your seatbelts, because here we go. It all began on a pleasant day in November 2018. As part of a slew of new announcements at 2018 reInvent, Dr. Matt Wood announced Deep Racer. So what is Deep Racer? Deep Racer is a 1 18th scale model car with a camera and a small Intel computer strapped to it. The vehicle can be trained to navigate around a track all by itself just by using vision and computing power. Now, right out of the box, Deep Racer can't do much by itself. We have to teach it to drive. We do this through a process called reinforcement learning, but more on that later. The output of the training process is called a model, and we can load that model onto our Deep Racer car. Think of the model as sort of like a brain. We have to first train the brain how to race, and then we can load the brain onto the car. The onboard computer then uses that brain to take images via the camera and issue commands to the servos in the car that control the steering. Well, as is tradition with us humans, as soon as we invent something new, we have to figure out how to race it. So of course, we needed to have a way to race our Deep Racer cars. Enter the Deep Racer League. AWS created the Deep Racer League as part crowdsourcing platform and part promotional vehicle. No pun intended there. At various AWS events, both virtually and in person, competitors will have the opportunity to race the models against the clock, all vying for the top time. The top times will be then be invited to race at the season finale event at reInvent 2019 in Las Vegas. So what is machine learning? Well, machine learning is quite unfortunately named as it conjures up images of some menacing mechanical beast suddenly acquiring genius level brain power from silicon and electrons. And of course, our real brains run wild with what if scenarios usually trending towards the catastrophic. Let me throw some water on things. Machine learning is really just math. Well, there's more components to it than that, but basically it's just math. Let's look at the parts. Ultimately, we need something that can estimate or predict things, and we call this a model. To create a model, we first need a few things. First, we need something or some place that can do math for us. Next, we need some data. We might need to provide data as examples. We might need to transform the data so that it's easier for our computers to do the math on. Or maybe we can just analyze the data as it is. And we also need some sort of instructions on how to analyze that data, and this we call an algorithm. And usually we have some sort of way to tell if our model is doing a good job. Now we have a few different types of machine learning. Supervised machine learning is a process where we feed in example data to the algorithm and let it sort of reverse engineer a math formula from our samples. Unsupervised learning is where our algorithms just analyze the data directly without any sort of explicit training step. And then we have reinforcement learning. So what is reinforcement learning? Well, training a deep racer model involves something called reinforcement learning. With reinforcement learning, we create a reward system that will incentivize the learning algorithm to repeat the desired behavior or reduce the undesired behavior. The reinforcement learning process repeats scenarios over and over again, trying to figure out how to maximize reward or minimize reward loss. Eventually, this process develops into something called a policy. The policy is what our Deep Racer car uses to decide how to maneuver around the track. And our reward system, or our reward function as it's called, can have many different dimensions, and it can be quite complex. We might want to incentivize the model to stay in the center of the track, or perhaps we want to penalize it for going too slow. Now, a benefit of reinforcement learning is that it can take into account relatively complex cause and effect situations, like driving a model car. 
However, because reinforcement learning is pretty much trial and error, it needs lots of iterations and data to build a good policy. So now you know a bit more about Debracer and reinforcement learning. In later episodes, we'll see how to put these things into practice and dive a bit deeper into the reward function and how Debracer works. Nick Trenafilu here, and I'm an instructor at iCloud Guru. Now, if you're super keen about machine learning and you really want to get into it, go check out our certified machine learning specialty course on our platform, where Scott and Brock will take you through everything you need to know about machine learning. All right, thanks, Cloud Gurus. We'll see you next time.